Wack and Epified have come together to present to you and maybe try and give some answers to how Subhash Chandra Bose really died. Reality is, after all, too big for our frail understanding to fully comprehend. Nevertheless, we have to build our life on the theory which contains the maximum truth. We cannot sit still because we cannot or do not know the absolute truth. Subhash Chandra Bose A man worshipped by millions and thousands of people, ready to give their blood in his name, Subhash Chandra Bose was a freedom fighter with radical ideologies, compared to his more moderate counterparts, Gandhi and Nehru. But he had only one mission, just like them, to rid India of the British. 18th August 1945, Netaji decided to fly to Moscow to seek support from Russia for India's independence. According to various reports, the plane was overloaded and after a stopover in the Japanese-occupied Formosa, it developed engine trouble and crashed. Or so the official version goes. Did Bose really die in a plane crash? Are his remains really at the Rankoji Temple in Japan? Or did he fake his own death in fear of Nehru? Was he hiding underground in a village in India? Or did he manage to reach the Soviet Union, where he spent the remainder of his life in a prison cell? If the Indian government did believe that Bose was dead, why had Nehru spied on Bose's family nearly for a decade after his presumed death? Three special commissions, 217 files, 70,000 pages of documents and still not one ounce of concrete evidence that sheds light on what really happened on that fateful day. Bose was the president of the Indian National Congress and he steered the party into his own radical ideology of unqualified Swaraj, including the use of force against the British. Now, this obviously meant a confrontation with Mohandas Gandhi, who in fact opposed Bose's presidency, splitting the Indian National Congress Party. Bose attempted to maintain unity, but Gandhi advised Bose to form his own cabinet. Now, this split the nation into two movements. The moderate, Congress, non-violent movement that was led by Gandhi and Nehru on one side, and Bose on the other side, having formed an army for his fight against the British, which he called the Indian National Army. He was seen as a bigger threat by the British and he was constantly imprisoned during this movement in India. Now, this led to him escaping and fleeing to Europe to gain some support on a more international level. He landed in Berlin and he formed an alliance with Hitler. Bose had, for the sake of his nation's freedom, shaken hands with the devil. He led the INA in alliance with Hitler and the Japanese. His philosophy was, my enemy's enemy is my friend. And any support against the British helped his cause of an independent India. This decision, however, is what led to his downfall. The INA with the Japanese forces lost a battle against the Commonwealth forces in 1945 while trying to rid Burma of the British Raj. The retreat and the fall of the INA destroyed the dreams of Bose to become an effective political entity. Bose, not losing hope, made his way to the Soviet Russia to gain support from Stalin. But as we know, he never reached Soviet Russia. The nation and Bose's supporters were left in shock. The Indian government for a while did not even give an official statement of Bose's death. At the time, there were reports that Gandhi and Nehru had plans to surrender Bose as a war criminal to the British, which is why he faked his death and never came back to India. There are other various reports which state that Bose was held prisoner by Stalin due to his association with Hitler, and he later died in the hands of that dictator. Nehru's government having information of this, yet nothing to prevent it. In 2006, the Mukherjee Commission concluded that while Bose was presumed dead, he did not die in a plane crash in Taipei in 1945. A former Russian general swore under oath to the Mukherjee Commission that he had actually seen a true Soviet cabinet paper detailing a living Subhash Chandra Bose. There were two earlier commissions which investigated this mysterious death of Bose, the Shah Nawaz Committee and the Khosla Commission. They both reported one simple truth, that all documents relating to Subhash Chandra Bose are either missing or destroyed. In April 2015, Prime Minister Narendra Modi met with Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose's grandnephew, Surya Bose. Modi promised to examine the request for declassification of all files related to events since his death. 
70 years later, the Indian government has woken up. A committee has been formed and they are going to review the Official Secrets Act in context to declassify the files that are related to his death. After all, we cannot sit still because we cannot or do not know the absolute truth. A combined understanding can give us answers to questions like what is good? What is evil? What is the meaning of victory? If you find a treasure of 11 rupees, 11 rupees or more, then you have to actually report it to a revenue officer. 